Hi Aquarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Aquarius, this is going to be your own reading today, and if it turns into a love reading, you know, regarding somebody else, or it doesn't even have to be love, but some heavy energy, we will uh, have an extended on that person, right? Uh, you know, all about their kind of feelings towards you, and uh, love or not, but usually it turns into love readings. And, you know, how they see the situation, what you may not know about them, what could be challenging them, things like that, what they want. So we're also going to have the Gypsy spread in the extended. And let's look at your reading right now. And I have three oracle cards here, and they are why poised and not for you. So you look like you're ready for something wonderful and exciting, uh, but something else is not for you. Something is not like in your fate or part of your fate, right? Maybe you lost a game, too. Maybe you're losing in a situation with somebody and it's not for you. Because we have the chessboard here. Mm -hmm. And so that means this, there could be competition or a game or something like that, right? Uh, but this Y card is... I don't know. You look like you are... Like, you want a different relationship. <laughs> maybe you're in, you know... Maybe you're poised for something that's not for you, but... I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like these are two different situations. Something is not for you, and something else is, most likely, this poised, poised card. And the why card is the lady's opening the book. Uh, she's looking for the answer. Why? And the wings are here. This is, you know, this why card is really, really interesting, right? Maybe it's about somebody from the past with the book card, because, you know... Everything that is uh, written down is usually about things that have already happened, right? Maybe you are seeking wisdom in a book. Mm -hmm. So, the heart of the matter is the Empress. You have the Seven of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. So you're hoping, and you're hoping, I believe, for a re reunion with somebody. This is the poised card. Or, I mean, you could be fearing this. I doubt it. But you look like you're hoping for either joy and happiness, or you're hoping to reunite. It's possible you are just hoping to be with somebody who is kind of a third party. You could. But your highest expectations is the Ace of Pentacles, right? Uh, and this could also mean that you don't really know and that, like, this could be potential. Like, like this is kind of what I want, but I don't know if I'm really going to really go for it or do it. Something like that. When we, see, when we see this brand new beginning in the highest expectations. I mean, sometimes it means that you think you're really going to have this, but sometimes it means that you're on the fence. Like, that would be great, but I don't know if I'm going after it. Yeah, it could be like your highest hope, kind of. So let's see what we have right now. You have the Empress and the Eight of Cups. Wow. The Seven of Swords is showing up here. And the Justice card. Somebody could be walking away from you. Maybe because you're sneaky and you're married, it could be. No digs on you guys, but, you know, the Seven of Swords and the Justice card. <laughs> it could be because of a Libra that you kind of have been maybe... I mean, I'm not going to say unfaithful, I don't know, but maybe you have, like, lied or something about. This person could be walking away from you because they are escaping some situation with a Libra. I mean, it could be, but let's see what else we have. Because we're not, we're not done with the reading, of course. And we have the Knight of Swords. Somebody, it could be you, but I feel like it's somebody else. I feel like an empress is walking away from you, a sexy, passionate, somebody somebody that, you know, you could really be poised for right here, right? This lady's full of excitement. But somebody could have walked away from you here because you didn't tell them the truth. Or you didn't take action, maybe, and, like, you weren't truthful about that. You could have promised them something, and you're like, and they're like, well, what a bunch of, what a, you know, bullshit, right? I mean, it's possible, you guys. We're all human, right? We all, yeah. And let's see what your highest expectations are. The Ace of Wands is reversed. It's because you don't, 
it could be a, because of a fire sign, but it looks like here that this could be too, uh, that you're not taking action. This is why you don't know if you're going to have this. This could be the energy where if you took action, you could have an abundant situation, a passionate situation. You look like you, um, like, only if you take action here. Like something, something is poised for you. Like, you know, like it's set up for you too. Not only are you poised and ready to go for it, but it could be set up for you. And something else isn't, not for you. Maybe you're asking yourself, why? Why am I with the wrong person, possibly? And let's see, energies that are coming into play. Six of Pentacles, uh, the Page of Pentacles and the Tower. This looks like you have a new start with somebody, but you have the Tower, but you have an ending. But this can be, uh, this Tower can talk about a powerful awakening or like sudden news or shocking news. I feel it can also talk about you are in the tower. You are in the tower because you want this with somebody. Somebody is like walking away from you, I believe, because you're not taking action. Maybe you said you were, maybe you told somebody I'm ready, but. And in the past, we have the Four of Swords, the Chariot card and the Page of Wands, so you were just, you were thinking about having victory and on a new path with somebody. I feel like somebody walked away from you because you either didn't make a decision to really a clear-cut decision. Maybe you didn't have the answer or the complete, like, solution for yourself. Well, I want this other situation, but I'm not really sure, and I'm still searching, and I'm still on the fence. Because it kind of looks like you didn't take action here, and somebody else was like, well, i got to go. And the Sun card and the Seven of Wands is coming soon. I feel like you're overwhelmed about some major clarity here, or a Leo. You could be maybe defending yourself, or defensive. I feel like what's coming for you here is that you are defensive about some clarity. So down here, energy is coming into play. You're in the tower about making a really hard choice. Yeah, I feel like I understand this reading. Although it's not as you know clear as some other readings. You have not made a decision here. Yeah. Like you have a really hard choice to move forward with somebody, but you're not like you didn't you're not doing it. And so here they are walking away, eight of cups. I feel like this is your girlfriend or your side per, you know, like your empress, the mistress, whatever. Maybe it's a guy. It doesn't matter. It's a person here, and I feel like they are walking away from you because you didn't make a decision, something like that. And you, I think you were sneaky about it. Like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, um, you know, I don't think I'm going to stay. I'm not going to stay in this relationship with so-and-so. It could be a marriage. And I don't think you did it. Like, you could have even lied to somebody. I'm leaving. I'm leaving my marriage, possibly. Mm -hmm. So how other people are affecting you. Here you are showing up as a beautiful star. They have the Ace of Cups. OMG. The High Priestess. Queen of Pentacles. So we have Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here as the Queen of Pentacles, she, who always shows up in your readings. Often we have uh, the High Priestess, which is Pisces or Scorpio, and this is how, and this is you, I believe. I feel like this is you and some other people. This Ace of Cups is what you wanted with somebody, but you're not, you're not going for it. I don't think you are. Queen of Wands reversed. Omg. Wow. This is how other people are affecting you. Queen of Wands reverse can sometimes be a hoe. I mean, no digs on fire signs. I happen to be one. I'm just saying sometimes uh, she can show up like that uh, in the magical books of wisdom. Yeah. 
And let's see what else we have. She can be many things. This is why we can't, you know, you know, unless, of course, uh, mm -hmm. uh, there is some cheating here. There's some kind of sneaky energy going on in this reading. Seven of Swords right here in the heart of the matter. I thought you misled somebody. I feel like that's it. Mm hmm. I feel like this could be the kind of energy when you tell somebody, yeah, I'm really going to go, and you didn't really mean it. You just kind of wanted to enjoy your time with this person. Like, yeah, uh, we'll do this, we'll do that, I'll do this for you, I'll do that for you, or we're going to be together. But when it came time, you know, to, like, you know, put the pedal to the metal, I don't feel like you did that. So here we have the Eight of Wands. This is how other people are affecting you. They could be doing something to you, like change like just they could be moving forward kind of they could be bringing you change and this change could be them walking away from you emperor this person is taking control of their life this is how they are affecting you maybe they're making you do this change in order to have this brand new beginning in love. Eight of Cups. I mean not Eight of Cups. Ace of Cups. Maybe somebody is like. Uh, what's that word? When you like. You know. When you kind of like. Make, make somebody kind of. Uh, you know. Walk their talk. Like you said you were going to do, do this. Let's see if you're doing it. Because I'm not going to stick around. This person is also. You could be dealing some with somebody who has their own brand new beginning with somebody else. Yeah, you could. And the, the seven five of wands here, Aquarius, is how you are affecting other people. You're making them feel overwhelmed, challenged. Maybe they're in competition with somebody else. And you're putting them in this fence of swords uh, where they feel like they can't get out. There's no way out here. I feel really stuck, um, kind of fear-based. And I don't see any way out, really. Maybe their way out over here is to just, maybe they have their own new beginning with somebody else. But you're really making somebody feel, uh, and I feel like there's two people beside you in this reading. Yeah. And your hopes and fears is the Three of Cups and the Devil and the Wheel of Fortune. So you could be, I mean, you could have fear. You could be honestly wanting to get back together with two people here. Maybe. This uh, Capricorn and Sagittarius. I, I'm not really sure here. This is really interesting. But I feel like the, the vibe here is, like, the message for me is clear. You, you're you not, like, you didn't say, you didn't do what you were said you were going to do. That's what I get out of this reading. And the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're hoping to return to a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And you're hoping for good luck. You know what I feel like? And the Nine of Cups. This is your wish, probably, this, uh, this Earth sign. But you, this in this energy, it's kind of wishy-washy. I feel like you are like, in this, I feel like you are just kind of like moving slow and, well, I'm going to do this, um, but I'm not really entirely sure. I really want that, but I'm not really sure. Things like that. I feel like you are hoping to reunite or you're hoping for somebody here, but I feel like this person already walked away from you. So we're going to see. Let's look at the, let's look at the, uh, the beginning of the... What do you call this? The gypsy, gypsy spread? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Show me the heart of the matter or the present situation for Aquarius. It is the sorrow card. Whoa. In the past, you have the room card. The messengers coming into play and are unfolding. Same thing. The lover card is the obstacle. Yeah, I told you you got a couple people going on here. And we have the death card is the outcome. So you're probably... But this could be now. This person here, somebody's walking away from you. I don't think you're walking away from somebody in this reading. It's possible. I mean, for some of you guys, but you look like you didn't take action. So we're going to see all about this. And we're also going to see, uh, maybe you're doing it now with the death card in the, ex in the uh, outcome. But we're going to find out. And we're going to see this person's current situation and what's challenging them, uh, what they want, Aquarius, what they fear, what they could be afraid of. And also we have how they f feel about this situation, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, how they feel about you, in case I didn't say that. <laughs> what they hide or what you don't know about them and their outcome. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. And please remember to like, share, 
and subscribe.